Hello, I'm the Sorceress for SorceRecipes.tv and I'm going to show you how to flavour a bechamel sauce so that it is a sauce soubise, that is an onion flavoured sauce, wonderful with roast chicken. So I've just got some butter warming up on the stove here. And I'm going to chop, uh, to finely slice this onion. Now, it's only half an onion that I'm going to be using, and I'm just going to slice it very thinly. Using my fingers as a guard, and a guide, and uh, just making it so that my very sharp knife makes beautiful slices. Now, I'm just making a small quantity of, of this sauce for our small family, but... It's uh, up to you really. You can scale this recipe up very easily. So I'm just going to put that in the butter. And mix that around a bit. The idea is to cook these onions and make them transparent but prevent them from browning which is why I'm using a covered saucepan instead of a frying pan I don't want to fry these and I certainly don't want them to get brown so all I'm going to do is put the lid on turn the heat down to the lowest it can be and I'm just going to let that sit there for about five minutes just so that they sweat and get uh, to the stage that I want them to be Right now, as you see, my onions have uh, got soft, but they're not brown at all. They're smelling divine. I'm going to add about uh, a quantity of bechamel sauce, the same bechamel sauce I made in the previous video. And I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes to get the oniony flavour much stronger than just with the subtle flavouring of the bechamel. Get the oniony flavour in there and um, it'll be quite strong. So I'm going to pop the lid back on, keep it on very low heat. I'm going to stir it just occasionally and uh, We'll uh, come back and do the next step after that. Okay, now my sauce with the onions in it has been bubbling away for about 10 minutes. It's very important that the onions get soft. If they're not soft, uh, it's going to have a sharper flavour and also the onions aren't going to uh, be able to uh, be pulverised or strained properly. Now. If you have a bar mix, as I have, or a stick blender, I'm, this is really cheating, but I'm uh, going to do it because I'm a modern cook in a modern kitchen. If you don't have something like this, you can strain your uh, sauce. Don't try to do it in a colander. It's not going to work. What you need is either something like this, a chinois or conical sieve. Now that's the best for sauces. Or if you don't have one of those, you very well might have one like that. If you haven't got one, it's worth getting one. They're very cheap and uh, it's a very useful thing to have for all sorts of things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my bar mix over here and liquefy all that. So just I'm going to make a bit of a noise. Just making sure that that is all properly liquefied. And now I'm going to add some double cream. As much or as little as you like really. I don't use that much because we're trying to cut down on fat. But uh, you can't do without cream. It's just so luscious. So 
I'm just going to mix that in like so and I'm going to stand here stirring this for about five minutes because the last thing I want is for this to catch on the bottom or to boil over so um, that will be the last process when we come back right well this has been simmering down now I just wanted to reduce it a bit I've been uh, stirring it so it doesn't stick now this is the completed sauce soubise it needs a little bit of salt it needs some pepper and it needs some nutmeg nutmeg always seems to go well with uh, a bechamel sauce in particular so that is the sauce uh, finished cooking I'll just taste it it's always good to taste That is so subtle, so elegant, and so impressive. It's a very welcome change from a, from a pan gravy made with uh, a proprietary gravy mix or something like that. You can serve it just as is with the bits. I'm going to strain it so <coughs> that you can see how it looks. And it also is a more elegant, more sophisticated presentation if it's been, if it's been strained. So I'm just going to push this through my sieve. Now when you strain something like this, you need to get a wooden spoon and help the sauce through. And you can see the residual bits of onion. And I'm going to just force some of that through to make sure we get as much flavour out of the onion as we possibly can. So that is my sauce soubise and it's a very luscious sauce with the cream, it's rich It'll go wonderfully with a crisp golden roast chicken. Your family will adore it and your dinner party guests will be so impressed. Recipes on the website. I'm the sorceress for sorcerecipes.tv. See you next time.